is the Godhead will be in that return most of all things. You want the grandmother to stand? You want the grandmother to stand? Who? The paternal grandmother is here. She wants to stand with the family. Okay. Wow. I want the video. Dad, if you want to come, you can stay. Feel free. Amen. Yes. I just want everybody to be able to. You know, some of you just come watch. All right. All right. And they brought out children to him, that he should touch them. And his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased, and said unto them, Send the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto thy children's children to such as keep his covenant and to those that remember his commandments to do them. I need to get closer. Let us do the invocation. Dear God, we present to thee these children as a gift from this parent who in gratitude have received them from thee. Now give them back to thee. We are mindful this day how that Jesus called the little ones as lambs to his fold. Place his hands of blessings upon their head. Move his arms of them. Don't leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not making no noise when they make it. On their head. Threw his arms of love around them. And gave them the kindest look. We know something of the craving in the hearts of a child. This innocence is a cry for purity. This weakness is a cry for strength. His helplessness is a cry for protection. And his heart is a, is a great plea for love. Grant that as they grow, they grow in the wisdom and thy favor. Preserve them when danger threatens and, they, and the, innocence, the innocence of the child is in danger. Undergird and strengthen them in moments of youthful temptation and lead them to accept thee as their personal Savior through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we address the congregation, dearly beloved, we are privileged to witness the coming of his parents and dedicate the child to the gracious and loving care and keeping of God our Father and Christ our Lord Savior. God grant that we who are gathered today in worship shall earnestly assume with these parents the responsibility for these children, Christian training. Inasmuch as all of us shall exercise influence upon these children in some way. If you, the members of this church and community, are willing to do so, 
We ask you to pray for these children as they might be led in their years of personal accountability to abhor that which is evil and to cleave to that which is good. If you're willing to do that, say, we will. We will. As the presence of your children, the dedication to God, we ask you, are you willing to rededicate yourself to maintain to the maintenance of a Christian home where Christ shall be honored and the word of God held in reverence so that they may on their own free will choose and confess their faith to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and accept them as their personal Savior. Say, I do. Because you recognize the spiritual, physical, and moral responsibility of parenthood and the dependence upon God for strength and wisdom to faithfully discharge the duties of a parent, do you now present your child in dedication to God, seeking divine blessings and guidance in their life? Thank you.
Joseph, my daughter sitting over there right there, and my daughter promised she wouldn't have no children. And the reason why she promised, because she said, I know how I treated y'all. <laughs> and I know I'm going to get it back. Well, she only got one, but she getting it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Kim? Yeah, I said that <laughs> to say whenever they get to acting up, just remember what you gave daddy. All right? All right. All right. God bless you. God love you. We have some certificates. We have some certificates that we want to give to the children. No, you gonna you gonna let me, I'm gonna get out of character here in a minute and I'm gonna do something that grandpa may take over doing here in a minute. Man, right boy. Uh, baby dedication. This certifies that Noah Joseph Seals uh, was dedicated to God at Little the Valley Worship Center Church of God in Christ on this first day of September in the year of our Lord 2019. The mother is Kimberly McQueen. Father is Ernest Seals, and the minister of today is Pastor Dr. Jerry E. Johnson. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth. Third John 4. God bless you. God bless you. That's for Noah. And I think we have some little Bibles. Yeah, you both I think have. We have some little Bibles we're going to give them to. Amen. And here it is for Ace. This one is for Ace. No, this is Ace today. I can't pronounce. I can't pronounce all that. All right, she's gonna get some pictures. Can we get some pictures? Go ahead. Everybody, get together as close as you can. Come on, come in. Come on, come on back. Get some pictures. All right. All right. So Sabrina, be right back. We we'll go ahead and get the picture. Okay. Now look at the camera. Jojo, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Bring it somewhere. All right, so get it again. Get it again. There you go. Oh, that's a beautiful picture. That's a beautiful picture. All right. God bless you. God love you. And we, Sister Kim, we have two little Bibles.